What's going on guys? We are back with another video and today we finally get to off-road this bad boy. Yeah, first official off-road trail and we are going to be hitting it. Fins and things today out in Moab. Yep, which is a rated of 4 out of 10 starting it off easy. 100% um, stock 2023 Colorado ZR2 minus one modification which I'll show you momentarily so we're gonna get the truck ready air it down and uh, Let's hit the trails. the trails all right before we get the show on the road I wanted to show you that one modification that I've done to the ZR2 and that is those prototype quick disconnect sway bar end links so those if you've been following the channel for a while are very similar to the Ranger um, and if you have a ZR2 or a Colorado Canyon and would be interested in something like this, because I have right now no means to sell them, but if there's enough demand for it, I'll make, you know, we'll make a couple batches. But let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in something like this for your Colorado or Canyon, and maybe we'll end up producing them. But right now it's in the prototype phase and we are just currently testing it. So we'll see how it does this weekend. And 20 seconds later, they're out. There's the end link prototype and the uh, two pins that hold it in. So again, if that's something you're interested in for the Colorado Canyon platform, let me know down in the comments to see if it's even worth uh, making them. we came up to our first kind of fork in the road and we got the easier option or the harder option and you know on this channel we always try to do the harder options if we can so we're gonna give the hard option a go As Armando said, this was the hard side, but she is just eating the rocks up. And the departure on this thing has been far superior to what we previously had, so doing great. So uh, luckily this truck has front and rear lockers because we may or may not have just ended ourselves in this wonderful pickle. Um, I had said, hey, let's get out and look, but we have cameras and Mandy said we'll be all right and we ended up essentially with our front tires down and obviously our rear was not about to clear that so we're about to take a completely separate line um, to get down a little bit easier all right uh, passenger a little bit there you go actually come a little bit passenger all right, now start slowly, slowly come down. All right, now you can start turning. Okay, bottom came down. 
All right. Crisis averted, but that was almost real bad. Watch that rear. Alrighty guys, so we have reached the obstacle called One Tree Hill. So as you can see, we have a less steep, more challenging rock-wise um, approach. But then on the other side, you have a much steeper um, yet flat approach to essentially get to the top of the hill. And you've guessed it, we are definitely going to be taking the harder, more rocky situation they both look equally difficult just have their own kind of challenges in their own unique ways So, as you can see, we have come up across our next spicy obstacle, shall I say. Um, to get down here, I literally had to sit and scoop my butt down because there was no way to walk down that. Um, I'm curious to see what the angles are from in the truck, but you're good. Straighten the wheel out. Straight. A little bit more. All right, just keep coming slow, slow, slow. <gasps> oh my word. Watch that back, watch that back. That's crazy. That is crazy. So we've come across a section where we've got two downhills. Um, so this first one, there's not a lot of drama, pretty straightforward. The next one, a little bit spicier. Okay. Nothing a little scrape, it won't hurt you. So here is the not so nice situation. So we've opted to go wider. Um, he's using his cameras. So essentially the drop off on that side is not as intense. So he's opted to go that way instead of go straight down. Um, and risk possibly destroying that rear bumper. So. Nice and slow. Still gonna hit. Yep. It's just a hitch. Ooh, all right. That'll buff out, we'll be all right. If you've made it this far in the video and enjoying the content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't. Helps me out a ton and I have a personal goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2024. So if you can make that one subscriber less, I'd greatly appreciate that. Came up across a nice little, little drop off. Nothing too crazy. Definitely hitting those rock rails. That's what they're there for. Even though they are body mounted, they've definitely saved us a couple times today. But let's watch that back. 
So we've reached the next section um, of the trail. We've got this big beefy guy. So we're gonna see if our front bumper can clear. If not, figure out a different line. Come a little bit, straight your wheel, come a little bit, stop. Come and look. I think you will, because this tire's gonna come up. Come and look, don't do it. I do not want to be responsible. So we have gotten boss's seal of approval. He says it will clear. If he dings dense scratches, it is on him. Your passenger is about to drop. Keep her coming. Okay. Start cutting. Watch this rock. Start cutting passenger. Okay, you've got about six inches from it. Yeah. Okay. Keep cutting. Keep cutting. Still in two wheel drive. That'll do it. We just did this in the ZR2. In our next adventure, we turn up the difficulty and do the world famous Hell's Revenge. We push the limits of the ZR2 by taking difficult lines, which ends up resulting in some trail damage. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the video. Driver, driver, driver!